Well, the IU Simon Comprehensive Cancer Center is celebrating 30 years of working to eliminate cancer's burden in Indiana. To mark the ongoing race to save lives, the center recently signed on as the primary sponsor of a Formula Car. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta has more. Kylie. Thanks, Gary. Because racing has special meaning to Hoosiers, the IU Simon Comprehensive Cancer Center says it's a fitting way to celebrate three decades worth of accomplishments in fighting cancer. One major event came in 2019 when the center was named a Comprehensive Cancer Center, the highest designation from the National Cancer Institute. And joining me now to tell us more about the center's 30th anniversary is the center's director, Dr. Kelvin Lee. Welcome back to the show. Thank you, Kylie. Glad to be here. Let's start with happy anniversary. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 30 Thank years is a big milestone. Yes. So uh, take a look back with us quickly. Just give us a quick overview about the legacy of the IU Simon Cancer Center here. So uh, cancer research at, uh, at, at IU has been fantastic for a long time. And in, in 1992, Dr. Steve Williams said, well, what we really want to do is now go to the next level. And Steve started the, our trek towards the NCI designated Comprehensive Cancer Center. So we have gone from just a dream involving maybe four people to now an exceptional cancer center that has over 270 investigators, over $20 million in research. So it has really been a fabulous journey from really nothing uh, other than remarkably talented cancer folks uh, at IU to now the IU Simon Comprehensive Cancer Center. It really is incredible. And I know that it's not your only accomplishment, but a lot of people think about the testicular cancer mm -hmm. and uh, how it was cured here in right. Indiana. Right, right. I think that the remarkable thing is that the very first cancer that was a solid tumor was actually cured by Dr. Larry Einhorn. And that, in fact, everybody in the cancer world says, you know, they, are, they, they, they find Larry to be a remarkable person and he paved the way for everybody else to say, hey, we can in fact cure a cancer with chemotherapy. We can save the lives of young men who would have otherwise passed away. So that has been a remarkable milestone. The ability of the IU Simon Comprehensive Cancer Center really to go global. Uh, they, have, they have been working in Kenya for the last 25 years. They've really transformed cancer care overseas. It has really served as a model not for only for global oncology, but how do you take care of people in areas of America that don't really have access to, you know, university hospitals? Right. How do you deploy cutting edge medicine out in those areas? Right. So not just here in Indiana, but beyond. Exactly. Let's talk about this race car sponsorship. Uh, such a neat little partnership. Yes. Two homegrown Indiana things. Tell us, why did the IU Comprehensive Cancer Center want to sponsor a race car? Well, racing is so much part of the fabric uh, in Indianapolis. Racing is so much a part of the fabric in Indiana. So that was one, one component. And, you know, we believe that research accelerates cures. So the idea of accelerating what we were doing in, in a race car was a component of what we were, you know, what we really wanted to, to pass along to everybody. And racing is just like, it's very much like science uh, or doing research. You have to be determined. There's a tremendous amount of precision and there's a tremendous amount of science, which I learned at my first <laughs> Indy 500 this last, uh, this last month. There's a tremendous amount of science involved. And we also had the opportunity to, to sponsor a young man, Jackson Lee, uh, who is now a sophomore at IUPUI uh, and really is one of the brightest young men that I've had, had the chance to work with. So it is also, a, I think, part of our investment in youth because we believe that training the next generation for our scientists is really what we're going to, you know, where we're going to have a really big difference in, you know, making sure that that pipeline of really talented people continue to work in science and continue to move the field forward. We're finding those discoveries for tomorrow. Exactly. Uh, let's take a look at it through a business lens. How 
how does the IU Simon Cancer Center plug into the business landscape here in Indianapolis and, and beyond? So IU Simon really is a hub of innovation uh, and really I think is one of the areas where if you're going to grow biotech through small company spin-offs, innovative technology, then the Simon Comprehensive Cancer Center really is a hub for that. And we have the opportunity, and we are, in fact, working with Purdue University to really tap into their biomedical engineering and their engineering expertise for things like, well, how do you, if you have somebody that is uh, out in rural Indiana and you want to monitor them, the thing to do is to develop wearable technology that can actually monitor their health and where they are, and those things are all coming out through our collaboration with uh, with our engineering friends, both at IU, the, at IU Bloomington, as well as at Purdue. Such a great team up. Well, it's fun to look back at where you've been. It's exciting to look forward about the things you're working on. So thanks for being on the show today, and happy anniversary. Again. Thank you very much.